If you want to be making some money, then you need to be drop shipping on Etsy. Point blank. You need to be on that platform. You heard him. It is an untapped gold mine right now. But unlike some other platforms, like let's say eBay, Etsy isn't necessarily a numbers game. The more you have on there doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get more sales. You need to be selling the right items on Etsy. That's the trick. Etsy is very specific with its demographic and with what it sells on its platform. Etsy is primarily known for handmade, vintage, retro, crafting goods. So whatever products you're selling or whatever niche you're in needs to align with Etsy's values. Only then are you going to start making some serious money. It's a deal. Deal. Now I'm telling you this from experience. Out of all of the different platforms that I've drop shipped on, Etsy has always been my favorite, primarily because for me personally, it's actually a lot easier to get started on there. I find that my products are a lot easier found and I just get more exposure. But again, it all boils down to what you're selling. So because of that, today's video is going to focus on one of the most popular and most lucrative niches on Etsy, and that's jewelry. So let's get the basics out of the way first. What can you sell and what can you not sell on Etsy? Well, some of the most popular things that you can sell are going to be vintage and retro goods goods, handmade items, items for crafting so people can make certain items themselves, home goods such as art or custom made rugs, party invitations and gifts, and of course, jewelry and accessories. Now, what can you not sell on there? What is prohibited? Well, a lot of things are, but for the most part, don't be selling anything like firearms on there because that is definitely not the place to sell those kinds of things. No medicines, no supplements, no liquids, nothing dangerous overall, no tobacco, but those are some of the more obvious ones, right? These are pretty much things that you can't sell on any platform, but there's also a few other categories that you need to keep in mind that you shouldn't be selling on Etsy. One of those is pretty much anything that's copyright. Do not sell anything that's copyright on Etsy. My first Etsy store was actually doing extremely well. I had over, I think, five or 600 sales and maybe three or 400 reviews. And the sales just kept coming in until they stopped. And the reason they stopped is because I got banned for the first time. Now, what happened there is I was selling copyright items or rather I was selling copyright designs on my items. I was doing a little bit of print on demand. Some of the t-shirts I was selling on there had certain images like Demon Slayer and Goku and Pokemon, you know, stuff that you're not supposed to be selling. And after a while, Etsy decided, you know what? I've had enough of your stuff you're shut down and they completely closed my store. But I was lucky enough that I was able to open up a second store and I completely avoided that altogether. So take it from personal experience, do not sell anything copyright and do not sell anything trademarked. It could very well be the end of your Etsy store. Also, don't sell certain categories like electronics. Etsy is not the place for this. If you wanna sell electronics, if you wanna sell headphones, if you wanna sell, I don't know, a microwave, then go to eBay. Go to Amazon, sell it on your own Shopify website, but don't sell it on Etsy. Etsy is not the platform for that. Now, what is it about Etsy that makes it stand out above the rest? Well, for one, it's unique. It has unique items. It has also unique sellers. Everyone on there is pretty much at this point a small business and everyone on there is for the most part making the items themselves. A lot of the vendors on Etsy sell handmade items and that's part of what makes Etsy special. It's a completely open marketplace that pretty much anybody can join. Also, one of the best parts is that you get, of course, since you're selling on a marketplace, free organic traffic. So people are going to be going to the Etsy marketplace already ready to spend some money. Etsy compared to other platforms also also has some pretty minimal competition. Now, that's not to say that there's no competition. You're going to find competition on any platform that you decide to sell on, no matter what. But some are going to have a lot more than others. eBay right now is probably one of the ones that has the most competition alongside Amazon. Now, of course, eventually Etsy is going to end up getting up there. Hopefully by then there's going to be another marketplace that we can start selling on. But at least you would have already have an established presence whenever Etsy starts to get that much more traffic. So the sooner that you can establish your presence on there and establish yourself as a well-known seller, the better. Now, one thing that I absolutely love about Etsy is the fact that you have the option to brand your products. So on Etsy, like I said, it's a lot of small businesses. So it's a lot of people starting up their own brands, a lot of boutique shops. And this gives you the perfect opportunity to launch your own brand or your own shop. Now for this, you are gonna need a supplier that can actually do this for you. So you're gonna need a supplier that can offer white label products or customized branding, or you can simply use the AutoDS private suppliers and warehouse. This is probably the easiest way to actually get started with your own branding and the reason behind this is because we have some suppliers that can include a custom thank you card with your logo on it with all of your orders so in order to find this all you have to do is simply log into your account over at autods.com if you don't have an account just yet you can sign up right now for just one dollar for the trial period but once you're on there 
you simply just navigate on over to the marketplace and then under supplier we're going to switch it over to AutoDS suppliers this is always what i end up doing i never go with amazon or aliexpress to be honest with you i always use the AutoDS suppliers now once you filtered everything out by the AutoDS suppliers just start scrolling now you're going to start seeing a few different messages so let's look for one that has this right here customizable branding what this means is that whenever this item ships out it's going to ship with a custom thank you card that custom thank you card is going to have your logo in the back and a message in the front thanking the customer for their purchase now this might not seem like a lot but if your customer receives anything custom anything that can say thank you or even anything with your brand on it or your branding on it it leaves a lasting impression something that they remember and it can potentially help them make a future purchase now really quick while we're here i want you to take a look at the shipping times as you can see these are pretty quick shipping so some of these can even rival amazon check out this cat box right here it ships within two to four business days now you would think that that's two to four business days for the supplier to ship out the item right not at all that's actually two to four business days for your customer to receive the item from the time that they place their order you see when i say that some of these can even rival amazon that's pretty quick aside from that though one of the best benefits that comes with drop shipping on etsy is the fact that you can automate your entire store with AutoDS. So one of my favorite features has to be the automatic product import. In order to do this, all you have to do is simply find one item that you want to import. So right now we're going to be actually talking about different jewelry pieces to import to our store. So this right here is perfect. And the shipping time is even better, two to four business days. So I want to add this to my Etsy store. All I have to do is click on import draft. That's it. Now from there, all I have to do is just simply click on over to the draft section and it's going to be the last item on here. So let's just go ahead and click on click to edit. And on here, you can change anything that you need. So here you can change and optimize the title. You can add any tags to help you out with any analytics. So it helps you keep track of analytics. You can change the shipping method. You can go ahead and do the same thing with the description. You can edit it or you can optimize it using AI directly on the platform. You can also change the variance. You can add, remove or change prices. And you also have a built in image editor to make any changes to the images themselves. Trust me, when it comes to importing products to your Etsy store, automating this entire process is going to be a huge time saver. On Etsy, you can duplicate products, which helps out, but you always have to go in there and change a bunch of little different things. And at the end of the day, when you start to upload things manually, you start to download and then re-upload all of the different images, copy and paste titles, descriptions, variants. It really ends up taking a lot longer than you expect it to. You don't really notice, but after you import maybe 15 or 20 products manually, a few hours already went by. Using AutoDS to automate the import process can save you all of those different hours. It can turn maybe three or four hours of work to 15 or even 30 minutes. Now I mentioned that we're going to be talking about jewelry. So why are we drop shipping jewelry on Etsy? Jewelry is an evergreen product. Everyone loves giving and everyone loves receiving jewelry, especially handmade jewelry. You really don't need a season to sell jewelry in because people are going to be purchasing it for pretty much anything. Valentine's Day, birthdays, anniversaries, newborns, any occasion that can be celebrated, jewelry will always be an appropriate gift. Whether it be a five or $10 pair of earrings or a $10,000 ring, jewelry has an immense range of products that, again, are suitable for absolutely any occasion. When it comes to jewelry, one of the best types that you can buy is handmade. And if you're selling on Etsy, that's also some of the best that you can sell. The great thing about handmade items is the fact that you can sell them at an even greater cost. So they're not gonna cost you that much, but when you sell them, you can sell them at a higher price because of the fact that they're handmade. People are willing to pay more for handmade items. Now you can sell jewelry with other jewelry or you can sell jewelry with accessories. Jewelry is fashion. Jewelry is a fashion item. It's something that people are gonna wear with other things. So for example, you can offer a bracelet but you can offer a matching ring or you can offer a bracelet and necklace set or even then you can offer a t-shirt with a matching handmade bracelet remember jewelry doesn't necessarily have to be flashy it can be anything that you wear now with that said these are 20 of the best jewelry drop shipping items that you can be selling on etsy for some pretty good profits and the first item on this list is going to be a crystal pendant necklace as you can see this is an absolutely gorgeous piece and it's pretty cheap it's only 18 dollars something like this you can sell on etsy easily for $59.89 or even $69. This in itself is a gift that can be given for almost any occasion. This can be given for Valentine's Day, as a graduation gift, as a birthday gift, or simply just as a sign of love. Next up, we have Boho Pearl Drop Earrings. Now, Boho style or Bohemian style has been extremely popular in the last few years. So anything that you can find that's Boho style, try to offer it because chances are people are looking for it. In our third spot, we have a Cubic Zirconia Tennis Bracelet. Now, these bracelets 
a lot of the times actually come in diamonds. They're mostly known for being diamond bracelets. But of course, a diamond tennis bracelet is going to be running quite a few thousand dollars. So in which case people turn to cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconia is just as bright and as shiny as diamonds. And truthfully speaking, a lot of people can't really tell the difference. So that's why a lot of people opt in for cubic zirconias. Now, having a cubic zirconia tennis bracelet can help bring in some pretty good profits because you can source them for pretty cheap. So as you can see, some of these are running for just under $20. And considering that a diamond one can be sold for quite a few thousand, a cubic zirconia one can be sold for a few hundred. Gemstone rings are up next, and these can come in a few different cuts. So you can have a hexagon cut, you can have a diamond cut, or any other type of cut on the stone itself. Gemstone rings are one of those items that are the perfect gift for pretty much any occasion as well. So these are another perfect gift to offer around the holiday season or throughout the entire year. Birth flower necklaces are up next. And one thing that you need to note about this is that you're gonna have to have one particular design for each month of the year. So each month is gonna have a significant flower to go along with it. Chunky gold hoop earrings are another must have in your dropshipping store. These have been popular ever since I can remember. These have been worn a lot throughout the years and are gonna continue to be worn. Initial heart necklaces are also another must have. These are extremely popular specifically amongst moms. Moms. One very popular gift is one of these necklaces with a mom's kid's initial in the heart itself. One way to upsell these is by offering them stacked. So you can potentially offer one necklace with multiple initials on it to represent multiple kids. Silver stud earrings are obviously a classic. These are going to be worn throughout the entirety of time itself. Now, when it comes to these silver stud earrings, one thing that I am going to mention is that they come in bigger sets. So a lot of the times you're not going to sell just one pair of these. You're going to sell a set. So as you can see here, Pretty much all of these suppliers are sending different sets. Like this one right here actually comes with 12 sets. So it comes with a total of 24 earrings. And the reason behind this is because these are pretty generic. Like I said, these are a classic and you're going to find them everywhere. Moon and star pendants are another classic. These can be big or they can be small. Some people like the small classic look to it. Other people like the bigger, more flashy look to it. So when it comes to this, it's good to offer a nice mix of the two. So you can offer something small and clean like this one right here, or this one, which is just a little bit bigger, or you can offer something a bit more complex and a bit more artsy like this right here. I personally actually like this one. This one looks pretty cool. Friendship rings are another huge seller, especially for those in the friend zone. And these can actually be sold at some pretty high prices, especially if you get one that is gold plated. So quick tip, if you do wanna make some extra profits or some higher profits, offer gold plated items. The items don't have to be fully made out of gold. They can simply be gold plated. What gold plated means is simply the item itself or the piece of jewelry is dipped in gold and it has a thin layer of gold around it. The inside, however, it can be whatever it can be stainless steel copper or any other material now if you want maximum profits then you can offer full-on gold items but in this case it is going to have a higher startup cost so start small and then work up to the big leagues pearl necklaces are another classic that are actually making a comeback these used to be huge back in the 90s and early 2000s and slowly but surely they kind of withered away but right now they've actually been making a comeback in the last couple of years now this next one is actually very important and one that i highly suggest that you have an option of and that's hypoallergenic earrings whether that be for kids or for adults some people are going to be allergic to the materials in earrings or in any other piece of jewelry. So what ends up happening is when somebody puts on some of these pieces of jewelry, if they're not real, if they're not full gold or full silver, then they can start to tarnish. Now, if they start to tarnish, that's not anything bad. That can actually be easily cleaned, which by the way, that is a perfect add-on. You can sell tarnish remover along with your jewelry items to be able to protect them and increase the lifespan. This is a perfect add-on because jewelry pieces are gonna tarnish. They're gonna get dirty and people are not gonna like that. So offering a jewelry cleaner or a tarnish remover is a great idea to help you increase your profits, increase your average order value, and increase your customer satisfaction. But aside from that, hypoallergenic earrings are extremely important because some people just don't react well to the typical materials, primarily kids. So for kids, it's best to offer these types of items so that way they don't have any adverse reactions to it. Now, an adverse reaction can come in the form of either just simple discoloration of the spot on the skin. So wherever the jewelry piece is laying on the skin, it can turn a little bit green or a little bit blackish gray. Of course, that's something that can easily be cleaned as well, but it's just not a very good look. Or it can also come in the form of a rash. So some people might actually get a rash from these different jewelry pieces. Now, with that being said, the amount of people that are actually gonna have an adverse reaction like that are quite low, but just keep in mind that those people do exist. They're always gonna be there. So try to offer something for them as well. Gold bangle bracelets are perfect for 
any add-on. So when it comes to bracelets, people are always gonna purchase multiples. They don't wear just one. A bracelet is an accessory that's meant to be stacked. When I say it's meant to be stacked, that means it's meant to be worn with other pieces of jewelry. Whether that be with more bracelets, with a watch, with a ring or a necklace, bracelets are not meant to be worn alone. So any bracelet that you can offer, you can offer it either in a stack, in a set, or you can offer it as an add-on to other jewelry pieces, such as necklaces or rings. Next up, we have men's promise rings. What better way is there to show your dedication to somebody without going full on marriage mode than a promise ring? Promise rings have been around for ages and they're going to continue to be around they are super popular especially amongst the younger generation the young lovebirds an infinity hoop nose ring is also another fantastic jewelry piece that you can offer this is another classic what this simply is is just a never-ending circle so as you can see right here it's simply just a circular nose ring it has a little clasp at the end so that way it looks like it doesn't end it looks like it's just on there and it's permanent now just like bracelets necklaces are also meant to be stacked and people love to stack necklaces with other necklaces so if you can sell a stack of three necklaces that is a great way to increase your average order value. So the next item is going to be gold layered necklaces in sets of three. So typically speaking, what you're going to have in this case is going to be something more of a choker. Then you're going to have one that's going to be a little bit lower than that. And then you finally you're going to have a long necklace. Now, whether they're plain, whether they have some sort of design on them or some sort of pendants on them, that's totally up to you. Now, this next piece of jewelry is actually one that is a bit more uncommon. It's not one that you see typically, but it's still one that is pretty popular and has a specific niche for it. And that's toe rings. So sterling silver toe rings to be exact. These come in quite a few different designs. Some of them come in simple ones just like this. Others are a bit more complex and they give you more of a statement piece as well. Remember how I said boho style pretty much anything is a great idea? Well, we have boho style flower earrings. These come in a variety of sizes, styles, and materials. So some of these are going to be a bit more appropriate for different age ranges. So make sure that when you're offering these, you section them off by adults, young adults, kids, something around those lines. And last but not least, we have pearl band headbands. Now these are primarily gonna be geared towards women, but this can be the perfect add-on for anybody that purchases a pearl necklace. And that's pretty much everything that you need to know about dropshipping jewelry on Etsy and some of the best products that you can offer. As always, huge thank you for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, please consider smashing that like button. It's obvious that you liked this video because you made it this far. So aside from that, make sure you smash that subscribe button, make sure you hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. One more time, huge thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.